Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. It is Monday morning, or at least Monday as I'm filming this. You guys might watch it in the morning or watch it on Tuesday, but it's Monday morning now. I got a bunch of eBay orders I gotta send out. Got a couple cool things that I sold that I'm gonna tell you about those big dollar sales. I'm gonna go over some items that I've picked up that I gotta get listed on eBay today. So let's get going. All right, first up, I'm gonna tell you about the two brats that I sold. Yeah, not this brat back here that always wants to go in and out of the office as I'm doing my videos. I'm gonna tell you about two brats dolls. So a few months back, I found these two brats dolls new in the box at a local thrift store for, I can't remember if it was 10 or $15. Either way, I have 20 or $30 into these two dolls. When I searched the comps, saw that they were selling for very, very good money, anywhere from 200 sales as high as $350. So sales were really good on these dolls. I listed mine at the top end of those. There was none available out there for sale and they had a ton of viewers, a ton of views, ton of watchers, but no offers. So I had been sending out a lot of offers on them. Uh, good discounts, 40, 50, $60 off some of these and was getting no bites. So I decided after two months of them being in my store that I would go ahead and list them at auction, let them run and see what I get. Now, again, the, the interest was really high. It had a lot of bids, a lot of views on them, and the two sold almost for the same amount. Well, you know, close enough anyways. One of them here, Bratz Tokyo Agogo. Yeah, that's what it's called, and her name was Sasha. Sasha sold for $198.50, and she was going all the way over to the Netherlands. Now, they had to spend like another hundred and some dollars on import fees and shipping. So they're gonna be over $300 all in for this one brat stall. So it's definitely a bull item. Not all of them are gonna be that high. Obviously there's some that are still sold in Target today, but this was a discontinued one from I think 2004, is that what it says on the screen? Yeah, look, 2004. So definitely an older one. The other one was Bratz called Pretty in Punk. And that was Yasmin with her dog, Roman, who doesn't want that one? So Yasmin with Ronan, Roman, that one sold for $160 even. That one did stay here in the US, so that one was a little bit easier to ship. They didn't have to pay all those extra shipping costs to GSP and import fees. So for those two alone, I got 198 and 160. Do the math real quick, it's about $350 for those two Bratz dolls. So definitely be on the lookout for these. It's not just Bratz dolls, you guys know. If things are discontinued, if they're not, not if they're no longer making them anymore, definitely something that you wanna even pay up a little bit for. Obviously I would have paid more than the 10 or $15 that they were selling for at this thrift store. Then another big sale I had last week was this Isaac Okoro rookie card. Now I really had no clue that this card was worth as much as it was when I was doing my comps, trying to figure out what I was gonna pay for this big bulk lot of cards that I got. I think I calculated my cost at like five or ten dollars i had no clue that these tie-dye prisms sell for the crazy money they that they do and i'm not really up to date on all the rookies in basketball i don't follow it as closely as some of the other sports but i saw that these tie-dye prisms were selling for a whole lot put this one out as auction just like those brats dolls and it went for 320 dollars. it shipped i already got the feedback this morning the buyer loved it so 320 dollars for this isaac okoro if that's how you pronounce it rookie card so i got 320 and over 350 dollars for those two other brat stalls just in those three items last week those were some fantastic sales all right so that's it for the items that sold last week that i've already shipped out but i want to tell you about those because they are some big money items now we're going to flip you around we're going to go to handheld mode i'm going to show you the items i sold today or sold over the weekend that i got to ship out today we're going to go pull some of them out in the garage we got some back here some over here so let's go uh, check out those sales and those items. We only have four orders to go get out of the garage today. So we'll go ahead and try to get them all on one trip. And for those of you that have watched me pull orders before, yeah, I have to go out to this dark garage. I usually just open the garage door if I'm filming out here. So here we go. I still have my Captain America plates, uh, weight plates down there to sell. Hopefully they'll eventually sell, but I uh, haven't sold those yet. So four items to pick. I think most of them are going to be over here anyways i just listed this this weekend we have this nerf ammo box and we did uh two ammo belts with it i think it sold for like 30 dollars. it's either 25 or 30 bucks plus shipping for uh that little setup 
Uh, here's all the license plates I have down here, and I just sold the very last of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Very sad to see these go. Uh, I wish I had a million of these because I've been selling lots of these. I think I to sold a total of 14 or 15. Pay $2 each for all of these license plates down here, and this has been the best one of the group. Last one, $25 bucks plus shipping. Fantastic buy on these. Uh, again, I like buying stuff like this in bulk where it's one listing for this item with a good quantity like that. And like I said, this one, the sell-through rate was really good. Arkansas Razorbacks, uh, go hogs, I think. Next, we have some f action figures from Fortnite. And it's in one of these. F oh, look at that. It's in this box right here. Look, Fortnite figs. So I found this in a hanging bag. I already have this all boxed up, ready to go bunch of the different Fortnite guys in there. If you've ever played Fortnite, uh, I like to play Fortnite. I think uh, there were a total of 13 or 14 different figures in this hanging bag that came from a Goodwill. Listed them all as one big bulk lot. I could have listed them individually and got, I don't know, three to seven dollars a piece, but that's a little bit too much work. I think I got forty dollars for the whole lot of them. Paid, I think, five or six dollars for the hanging bag, so pretty good. We got one, two, three items, and the fourth one, I think it's down over here. Go down to this rack, and it looks like this tire thing. I saw this, it says Chai Fit. Didn't really know exactly what it was. I thought it was like a back stretcher, which it is. It's called the Yoga Wheel. There's a bunch of different companies that make these. It kind of looks like a foam roller on the side. So you kind of just roll out the center of your spine with these. Bought it for $5 and I think it sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. It is a little bit big. I think I charged like 12 or 15 bucks for shipping on this. Not really sure where it's going, but here we go. We got four items out here. I am gonna have to put the phone down to carry these all in. All right, I got all those items inside. So now we got to spin around over here. I got a couple things in the closet, but look, I got a little bit of a mess. I keep shoving everything back over here to this corner and it gets in the way every time I need something up on the shelf. So uh, yeah, I need to take this thing apart. It's been in here for at least a couple weeks now. Just keep moving it out of the way. I keep having bubble wrap fall all over the place, packing peanuts, everything else. But we got two different items. First is just right down here. We have this little pop figure and you can see right there in her hand, she's got a little stake. So I knew that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but double checked it to see exactly which set it came out of. And it was a special box set where you got two figures, but I only had the one. I got this for $4 over at Bookman. They had it just displayed as a loose figure. So got it for four bucks and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, put her over here by everything else. And next we're going back over there. We need some Stratomatic player cards, and I think they're right in here, but I'm not sure exactly which stack it is. So we're gonna take these, spin around over here like I like to make you dizzy, keep spinning. We're looking for the AL Hall of Famers. So uh, that's Detroit Tigers. There it is, AL Hall of Famers. Look at that, we got Ted Williams right on top. This little stack of cards for Stratomatic. We got a bunch of them here, 20 some cards, I think, 40 cards, there's quite a few of them here. Some people will actually take these cards and try to sell them individually for team and player collectors, get anywhere from, you know, one to $5 a piece. Again, there's 40 of them. This whole lot I got $25 for. So basically got uh, a little bit over 50 cents. We'll say 60 cents per card in here. If someone wants to try to sell them individually, they might make some extra money, but hopefully it's just someone that plays the game and just needs a bunch of extra cool cards to play some Stratomatic baseball. One more thing, spin back around. I think it's the last time we're spinning over to the closet. Go down here and I keep a bunch of like books and magazines and other things that just stack up nicely here in this and here, it's the last one of these Beckett non-sport almanacs. But I think eight or nine of these in a bulk purchase that I did with a friend. This is the last one. These have actually sold really well for me. Even though it's from 2018, the fourth edition, uh, they've sold well. I've been selling them for $19.99 free shipping and you know i'm not making a ton of them but really he just threw these in as an extra so i have very little cost even if i have a dollar into them i'm still probably making 10 12 dollars net on each one of those all right we're going from here last spin of the day spin around we got to go over here now i put this stuff in the way over here see that's what keeps happening when you have messes in your office everything just keeps getting in your way i have sold three different cards two of them sold through auction and they're right here in the front because they were sold through auction and I knew I would need them. So I just put them right there on the front of the pile. I honestly don't even know who this player is other than he plays for Portugal. His name is Luis Figo. That's how he pronounces it. This is an autograph card. 
And I sold this through auction and I believe it went for like $66, somewhere in that range. You'll see it on the screen. I'm probably a little bit off, but we'll say $66. And the one right behind it is another soccer card. These are all ones that I bought in a big bulk purchase from a friend over the last few weeks. Sean Wright Phillips, he plays, plays or played for Manchester City. Cool autograph card of that one. Again, it went through auction. And we're going to spin around because I really don't even remember what that one sold for. Let's scroll down here on my screen. It sold for $14.50. And I'm sure as you saw, that one sold for $68. So pair of cards, I got $70, $82 for the two of those. One more card to go. And it is another autograph card. I was wrong. We're going to spin around again. We got to go over here and we got to find Jenny Finch. Now, it's back here somewhere. I have a bunch of autographed cards like this that are slabbed by Beckett. There's Mario Andretti. Uh, there it is. All right, we got Jenny Finch here. And you can see it is signed to Mike. It is signed to me because I got this autograph through the mail. I sent it off. She sent it back autographed. I was trying to get the whole set of these, but kind of gave up after a while. Did get it authenticated through Beckett. And had it in my store for quite a while. I think I had it for like $55, $60, somewhere like that. And sent out either like a five or seven percent off offer, so it sold for fifty-two dollars and seventy-nine cents plus shipping. So yeah, very strange amount. Only sold three cards this weekend, and that's really all I sold this weekend. Sales were really slow, as I probably mentioned earlier. About four hundred dollars for all of this here. I'm not sure what was going on. Maybe I was a little light in my uh, listing last week and didn't get enough stuff done. So didn't have the sales I would have liked. So 400 bucks right there. Now for the what's sold, now for the what's gonna sell, hopefully here over the next days and the next few weeks. First up, I do have another Bratz doll. And this one is a Bratz remix. And her name is somewhere on here, Jay down at the bottom. So uh, this is kind of an interesting sale here because I did sell this item months ago on Amazon for $40. It got returned to me, non-delivery due to insufficient address or no longer at this address, whatever it was. I tried to get a hold of them through the website and got no response. So I held it here in the garage for another couple months. After no more contact, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and relist this. So relist it out there. Now there's none of them available, so I actually pumped my price up. I'm actually gonna list this at $50 this time instead of 40. Next up, we got a For Real Pets. If you've ever been to Target or Walmart and gone down the section that has these For Real animals, they can be pretty pricey, especially the bigger ones. Uh, I don't really know exactly what they do other than when you pet them or kind of, you kind of move their head, they talk, they make noises. Yeah, they have toys here that you put in their mouth and I guess they make more noises. I don't know. Kids love them, right? Yeah. So this was an item that I found for five bucks at a thrift store. And I guess this is another discontinued, harder to find, dog and hopefully this christmas somebody's gonna want this one because i believe this one's going for about 40 bucks as well here's one that i actually thought was gonna be worth a little bit more this is play school heroes and these are obviously transformers so they call them rescue bots there's what it looks like sort of close up there's the back of the box and this was another one i think i paid like seven dollars for this one probably used a coupon to get it a little bit cheaper but somewhere six seven dollars somewhere in that range and i thought it would go for like 40 or 50 bucks because this thing looked pretty cool no, not so much. I think I listed it in my store. Actually, I didn't list it yet. I already have it on Amazon, but I got it listed on eBay, and it's probably going to be about 30 bucks plus shipping. Now, here's one that I've already listed on Amazon. Yeah, surprisingly, I was able to sell Brita filters. I thought I might be gated on that one, but I was able to list it, got it listed on there for about $40. They're going for a little bit cheaper on Amazon or eBay. I think $28, $30, but I'm going to cross list it there as well. And uh, hopefully, it sells on Amazon first because I'm uh, asking a little more, but Anyway, rid of filters. If you can find them new sealed packs like this, it's kind of a no-brainer to pick them up. And the last item is this Firefly, the game. If you've watched the show, people are very loyal to this show, Firefly. I believe it was only made for one season, and then they did a movie as well. But people love this show. I've watched it. It's okay. But people are very, very loyal to this show. So stuff from Firefly does sell pretty good. Now, I paid, I think, 5 or $6 for this game. It had clearance stickers like on every side that it was at some game store clearance for $25 off. So I made sure I pulled off all the stickers. But again, this is another item that I'm going to cross list both on Amazon and eBay. Amazon, I believe I have it out there for $50. And on eBay, I'm going to put it a little bit cheaper. I think they're going for about $40, $38, somewhere in there. So still, really good sale. 
five or whatever I ended up paying for this into hopefully 40 to 50 bucks. All right, give you a little preview now of what's gonna come up later this week. I'm gonna do a new one on my Card Guy channel. I'm gonna show you some of the cards that I've bought for myself, that I've bought on COMC using some of my credit items that I'm gonna add into my personal collection here. Now I always say my collection, but eventually those items will get sold off, whether it just be those cards go up in value or I just need some extra cash and wanna sell some cards. And then I'm gonna do a full booth review, although I don't know if I'll be able to get that one done this week because I don't know if I'm going back out to my booth until probably next week sometime. So that one will be coming up, might not be till next week, but I wanna do a full booth review, kind of go over what I sold, how much I sold, and kind of what sections of my booth have been paying off for me, and kind of do it as a critique well, because I know there's some areas of my booth I, like, I always look at how much is this section of my booth making and that section. If a certain section is not making much money or I'm not getting many sales out of that section, I need to either rearrange it, scrap it, get different inventory on those shelves, something because I don't want to waste any space in my booth. So it's definitely something if you have an antique booth that you want to take advantage of that uh, income per square foot. I don't know. There's some formula for that, but that'll be coming up at some point as well. So. Check those out when they do happen. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for uh, any new subscribers. And if you're watching for the first time, you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Help support the channel. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.